Hi YouTube, Neil here in Facelift Interiors. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how we transform a mass-produced sofa into a non-mass-produced sofa. This is obviously a job that's come into us, reupholstery job. Customer was also asking me, should I just buy a new one? I said, no, let's recover it. Any corners that were cut, we will make sure that we rectify them. So what we've done is we got this in, stripped it down, came from the China. Now let's get something straight. We are not prejudiced against anything that comes from China, but in my opinion, professionally, every sofa that I've seen is sort of like mass produced. The seats are all fixed on, they cut loads of corners, and you'll see on the tops and on the back rail, they kind of used a little bit of hardwoods on the end and then they filled the rest in with foam. So we've had to like replace that, take the foam out, replace it with hardwood, put new rails all the way around it. This time we're doing reversible cushions, just turning it into a decent piece of quality furniture. So with the revisions that we've done to this sofa, not only will it last longer, it will look much better as well. We also use very high quality fabrics which are upholstery grade, which go for a very high rub test. So this sofa is a U-shaped sofa. So they all look like different parts, but they are different parts of the same sofa. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you will see every time a new video becomes available. So let's get into this video. So this is how we upgrade a mass-produced sofa into a high quality piece of furniture. Action. Who the f is this guy? Look at the fucking size of him. This is sofa we're recovering for a customer first impressions seat is stitched on this is not a good sign to start you've got a nice sofa and you think it's a nice sofa i paid six thousand for it it was made in china what we're going to be showing you is how we take a piece like this and we turn it into a quality bit of furniture. The reason we're doing this is we don't want to keep sending stuff to landfill, that's obvious. And we don't want to keep going to these companies and buying sofas and having them for four years, paying off the you know monthly payments and then by the time that four years is up, you've got to go and buy another one. You've got to start the whole process again. You're sending this one to landfill. So we don't want to be doing that anymore. So get your sofa, get it recovered and we will turn it into a decent piece of furniture. There's lots of ways you can do it. So I'm going to show you here, I'm going to start stripping this down, see what the guts are like inside and sort of see what needs doing and we can sort of talk through it as we go so all right So we've got quite a bit of work to do here. As you can see, it's sprung. So I guess springs, springs are okay, that's good. But the way this frame has been made is not. Like I said, it was made in China, as you can see here. There is hardwood, but it's not actually on the front of the frame. It's actually in, it's a, like an MDF ply frame and then there's hardwood stuck onto the fronts. So there's no wood on the front there. So there's not even like a, a wooden front edge here. So I guess first we're going to do is we're going to fix here, we're going to fix this top edge. I'm just going to show you this front edge here. You can see there that that is ply, then the hardwood is here. Can't put springs into MDF or ply because they'll just pop out because it's not strong enough. So what they've done is they've put a strip of hardwood on the front here, then they've put the springs on there, and they've done the same all the way around. We're going to have to put a wooden rail in here because before it was a fixed cushion, now they're going to have reversible cushions. So we need to make this quality bit of furniture. So we're going to have to put a rail in here, because otherwise if you pull that tight in there, you're going to have huge gaps. So what we'll do is we'll probably put some more webs across. These webs are meant to be sort of four, finger, four fingers apart. And you can see that you've got three there on total. So there should be another one here, another one here. They've got half what they should have. As you can probably see here, this web went underneath. Now I've looped it over the top. Now the reason I've done that, it's because this drops off. Look at how low this rail is here. And look how much higher this rail is here. It's a good inch and a half difference in rail height. So that seat wants to staple off onto there. But this seat is all the way up here. So what I've done is I've gone over the top of this spring. If I pull it tight, you see I'm reducing the height and we're tightening it as well. So we're tightening these webs. I'm going to put a couple more webs across here. Then I'm going to put some hessian on top of that. And what we put hessian on for is to protect the springs, protect the foam, 
protect everything. So the Hessian gives it a nice layer on top to protect anything from collapsing through to give it a longer life, essentially. So we're gonna put a rail in here. So we're gonna cut a bit of wood to go from here over to there. So we close this gap because now we're doing fixed covers. So what we've just done here guys is we've obviously there was an edge here so we softened that up with some half inch blue now we're going to go hessian over the top so we're just going to measure up for some hessian so i think it was 55 by 41 we're going to tack that off down the sides Right guys, so as you can see here, I don't know why they haven't put like a whole rail across here. This doesn't make much sense to me. So what I'm gonna do, because these are all collapsed when it was delivered here, so it's gone. And we're gonna do this one here as well. So firstly, what we've got to do is take these little end pieces out here, because we're just gonna put a square bit in. So it's clear on this sofa there's been some major corners cut. Like sticking this bit of foam in here, I don't understand why unless they've, obviously if they're mass making them, which they probably are, it's cheaper to, you know, put, put little bits of foam in instead of wood, but we're going to be rectifying that, so... So have a nice hard edge there now. None of this collapsing. Now there's a huge gap at the bottom. Now that's because there was fixed cushions before. Now we're gonna be doing loose cushions, so we can't have that sort of gap. So we're gonna to need to chop another bit to go in there. So what I'm doing now is I'm cutting that bit of webbing out because it's too high anyway. It's too close to the top rail now. So it's kind of not doing a job. Right guys, we're repeating some Hessian lining over the back. And the reason we do this is to protect the foam from collapsing through the webs. So what we're doing now is we're gluing the foam back down. What we're doing now guys is we're replacing the foam on the seat. So I've just taken the sofa off the trestles. So as you can see, this is how you rebuild a sofa. So we, <coughs> what do we do? We stripped all the old fabric off, re-webbed the seats because the webs are really soft. So we've re-webbed the seat. The springs have stayed on, the springs are okay. So we've just run new webs in between the springs. Then we've put a layer of hessian over the top to protect the springs from this foam collapsing through. That's something you won't see with a lot of manufacturers nowadays, especially the cheaper manufacturers. 
how you can tell the difference between a high quality piece of furniture and a non high quality. You'll notice that there'll be hardly any springs and there'll be like nothing over the top of them to protect them. And then we've got half inch glue over the top of that. On the backs, hopefully you'll remember, they sort of notched out all this wood. I don't know, they, so we've replaced that bit of wood there with a, a rail that goes all the way across. We've replaced the rail at the bottom. So it's got a rail there. And again, re-web the backs, Hessian. So now that is a higher quality bit of furniture that should last for years. Obviously you can't tell these things when you go and buy a sofa. You're like, oh, it looks nice. You can't tell what's under the hood. Because even some of the more expensive manufacturers that I've worked on recently, I've opened it up, I've got inside it, I'm like, wow, how much did they pay for these? And how many corners they've cut, even some of the higher end, more expensive. It's a luxury high end manufacturer that most people in this country like to, like to go to. Things cost a little bit more in there, let's just put it that way. So even them, they cut corners as well. So we do not cut corners. So that's why you come to us. You want a bit of furniture done properly, come to us. So now we just put in some Dacron. on the seat. So I'm just gonna cut down there, cut those corners, same over here. That's the Dacron on, the seat. So we're just gonna upholster this seat now. 